third victim is 20-year-old Alexandra Werner. Uh, Alexandra was an incredible athlete, graduated from Clawson High School back in 2020. Our Priya Mann standing by live in Clawson where the superintendent of schools got uh, pretty emotional talking about Alex, Priya. Yeah, that's right, Devin. He's known Al since she was five years old. She was 20 years old when she was shot and killed at the campus of MSU here at Clawson High School, a standout athlete. She was league MVP for basketball and volleyball, an all-state softball player, and a real inspiration to so many here at school. Take a listen. Uh, one of the toughest days of my life. Educators say Alexandria Werner, who went by Al, was not only a star athlete, but a role model at Clawson High School. We're struggling. We're all struggling here um, at the high school because of what an incredible person that Al was and what she brought to Clawson High School. Assistant principal and varsity basketball coach Kelly Horn was one of the first to learn Al was shot and killed Monday night at MSU. We got the text message that no one wants to get at, at about 3 a.m. To wake up at 5 a.m. to that text from, from my assistant principal um, with that news is devastating. The superintendent of Clawson Public School says Al was a natural leader. She walked the halls every day modeling high character, uh, modeling uh, the utmost kindness. And in a world that needs uh, great human beings, because uh, we're void of, uh, of that clearly, based on what happened last night, Al was that. Tuesday's basketball game was canceled as the community comes together to grieve. Her and I spent a lot of time in this gym and in this school, um, and she truly loved her high school. She truly loved Clawson. The whole Werner family um, is, is the heart of our, of our town. She was a gift. to this, this place, um, to us, uh, and in, in her 20 years, 15 of which I knew her, met her in this gym when she was five. Um, she's, a, she's, a, she's a life changer for, for all of us. She'll impact you on a level that you, you wish your, your children and students, um, young leaders would. She defined it. And Al leaves behind an older brother, a younger sister, her parents, and of course, countless friends here at Clawson High School and in the greater Clawson area. There are memorials and vigils planned in the coming days, as well as grief counselors here for students. Uh, educators tell me that's their primary focus right now, coming together for the Werner family and also grieving with the students here. Uh, of course, just so many questions about how such a young life, such a promising life could be taken so horrifically. Reporting live in Clawson tonight, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Boy, that's so true. All right, Priya.